Bills Young here, and it's a wonderful Monday. And what are we doing? We're shopping. We're shopping for player props. That's what we do here at Big Dogs. We're going to be looking at all the games that's going on today and try to see how we can put some money in your pocket and profit. All right, before we do that, though, let me know what you guys are going to be betting on today. What's your best player prop? Who's your best team to win? You guys got a two-team parlay? And, hey, man, what's your top play to get paid? Let us know in the comments below. Type it in. All right. Now, look, this is how the player prop shop goes. I come up with my player props. Then I reference them with the sports chat, place betting tools, and see if they're with me or against me. All right. Now, look, we're going to be going over all the football player props for today's games, okay? We're going to be talking about the Saints versus the Panthers game. And then I got some props for you for the Steelers and the Browns game. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get it on early. All right. First player prop that I'm going to be going on to get you on top. Who are we looking at? We're looking at Allen Robinson. We're going to be taking him over his reception prop. If it's at two and a half, I'm smashing it. If it's at three and a half, I still like it. I've seen it at two and a half on some of the books out there. Um, so if you guys can get that two and a half, get it. If it's still at three, I'm all over it. When it comes down to it, man, Allen Robinson is a real consistent receiver. He just always needs somebody to throw him the ball. And it looks like he got that guy again. Last week, he was able to get five targets and guess how many catches and receptions you got all five of them so we're taking Allen robinson over his reception prop that's player prop number one player prop number two let's go on over to the saints game real quick who are we going to be looking at in this one chris Olave. over five receptions man when it comes down to it the carolina panthers <clears throat> their secondary is a decimal uh the cornerback that they drafted a year or two ago uh Joe Horn, Jeff Horn, uh, he's he's hurt. He's backed up. Uh, the other person that they got at cornerback is not good. He's somebody that used to play for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We drafted him and gave him away for nothing. So, yeah, man, I ain't, I ain't worried about nothing in the secondary. I like this play a lot. Chris Olave over five receptions. Come back and see what else I got in this game. Player prop number three, and we're back on it. New Orleans Saints, man, Michael Thomas. Over four receptions, man. When it comes down to it, he had nine targets in week one. He's one of those guys that's going out there for the short targets. Derek Carr always needs a consistent receiver. Uh, you know, so we're going to go ahead and be taking Michael Thomas. Over four receptions. I really like that one a lot. Player prop number four. Pittsburgh Steelers. Who we looking at? George Pickett's over three and a half receptions. Deontay Johnson's gone. He's hurt. Um, you know, uh, the connection between Pickett and Pickens is consistent. Okay, they've been working on it all offseason. Uh, he had five receptions in week one. George Pickens is going to be able to go ahead and get those targets and receptions. I know Cleveland Browns, they got a good secondary, though. It's not going to be, um, you know, that easy. But, hey, I got, I got faith in Pickens, and I think he's going over that three and a half receptions. Player prop number five. Deshaun Watson, what are we taking? Over 24 and a half rushing yards, man. When it comes down to it, the Cleveland Browns, their running game relies on Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson. They don't got a second back in there no more. And on top of it, Deshaun Watson is always holding down that ball and trying to get those first downs uh, on crucial plays to where, hey, he's not going to risk it and try to throw the ball away. He's going to tuck that ball and run for the first down. So we're going to be taking him over 24 and a half rushing props. Last player prop to get you on top. Before we do that, I need you guys to smash that like button for me one time and let me know what you guys are betting on tonight. All right, Cleveland Browns. We're going to be taking Nick Chubb, okay, to score a touchdown. That's it. All he has to do is get in the end zone. Anytime touchdown for Nick Chubb, he owes us one from last week. He didn't get in there last week. So, hey. I think he's going to be able to get into that end zone today, okay? It's going to be a tough divisional game. The Steelers always play the Cleveland Browns tough. They don't have Amari Cooper out there to rely on. I think he's going to be banged up. So we're going to be taking Nick Chubb to get a touchdown and score in the game. All right. Now, if you guys want to see what I'm betting on, my best bets, head on over to the site. We got it all up for you. You can't go wrong. It's time for the recap time. We're taking Chris Olave over five receptions. Michael Thomas over four receptions. George Pickett's over three and a half receptions. Deshaun Watson over 24 and a half yards. Allen Robinson over his reception prop. And Nick Chubb just to get a touchdown and end the game. 
It doesn't matter how he gets it. He could get it rushing or receiving. Hey, and out the backfield, he had five receptions in that last game. So look for him to get out there too. All right, it's Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. If you can't roll with the Pick Dogs, stay on the porch.